Madam Chair, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. The purpose of my speech here today is to uh, introduce myself before you people, before this uh, club. And to start that, uh, I'm starting from my name here. My name is Harpreet. And the culture from where I come from, there's a meaning for every name we have. And my name comprises of two words, Har and Preet. The Har means uh, God in my language, and the Preet is in love. So ultimately, it means in love with God. And as I come from India, is a land of spirituality. And it says that uh, we believe that that is basically the ultimate purpose of life, to be in love with God. It sounds interesting, but what does it mean? Let me just ask you, what's the purpose of your life? What's the basic and what's the ultimate purpose of your life? Is it to get educated? Is it to get a good job? Have a couple of million dollars in your bank account? Raise children? Have family? And so on and so forth. Or probably none of these, because all these desires are in queue. As the planes are in queue to land on the business airport, in, in a, on the business airport, one plane lands, another plane, another plane has to land. Similarly, as you fulfill your one desire, another desire comes in. It doesn't mean that don't have desire. It doesn't mean that don't have any goal in my life, but just have that idea in your mind that what brings the contentment and satisfaction to your life. Let's talk about, uh, I'll put that perspective in my own life. Um, as I uh, introspect about my life, I was raised, uh, I was born in India, and as a kid, I had a desire to grow up, so I have more independence and autonomy. And after that, uh, as I grew up, another desire is to get educated, and that was a desire for my parents too. Therefore, I went to, uh, to engineering college, finished my bachelor's degree in chemical engineering. But desires don't full finish there. You know, once I'm educated, I need a job. I looked for a job, got in a job, did a job for a couple of years, but you know, who is satisfied there? There's another desire. I should have another job. Uh, probably I should expand my horizons. Therefore, I uh, started applying to a uh, few of the good business, business schools in North America and uh, came here in 2008 to pursue my MBA from Schulich School of Business at uh, York University, Toronto, Canada. Finished that in 2010, majoring in MBA in Finance and Strategy. But you know, desires do not stop there. You have to have a job, another job, which is better than your previous job. I got one, but you know, it's an 80 grand job as an MBA from top business school. It should be something more. Change the job. Currently, I'm working with one of uh, uh, IT research firms in downtown Toronto. My journey till here. The whole idea about the desires as they are in queue, they are coming. As you are fulfilling them, you're not feeling any contentment. You're not feeling any sense of contentment. The idea is that basically you feel yourself at the same place as you had before the desire was there. Let's have a look at the life, the statistics of our life. A recent report from Stat Canada states that the average life expectancy in Canada is about 80 years. Every day, we sleep about eight hours. Multiply those number of hours by number of years we live, and do the maths. It comes out to be approximately 27 years you are just sleeping, so out of your entire life. And we work for eight hours. Again, do the math. 27 and another years you are just working. And also, we spend our time in another activities as well, going to washroom and as well. Just do like one or two hours if you are spending, bathing, doing whatever. Seven to eight years of your life you are just spending in a washroom. What a terrible idea if you have to do that in one go. One to two hours you will be spending per day eating. Do the mass again, seven to eight hours eating. Living in Toronto, everybody spends around one to two hours traveling. I would say two hours at least. Seven to eight hours <laughs> traveling. Add them all comes up to 78 to 79 years of your life, out of your 80 years of your life, if that is what the average you have taken. 
Out of all those years, where is your life? When is a time when you spend with your friends, with your family, enjoying a beautiful vacation, feeling amazing? When is a time when you are enjoying your favorite hobby, whatever it is, singing, dancing, enjoying, gym, playing soccer, or whatever it is, or learning something just for your own enjoyment, not to prove anything to anybody? When is the time when you realize that you are, there is the love within you, and you are the being which is a God within you, and you are the ocean of love which you can spread to the people around you, and you are made of the substance called love. I think it's all there. We understand that, all these things, and we are made of all made of that ocean of love that is uh, within you, but the only the need is to be aware, to understand that we have that power within you, and just be aware of, about that love and just spread it to people around you. Thank you very much. Eight years. Eight years, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> and our 